Hot sourdough, straight from the oven. Precious sourdough and like In the 10 years that I've been in Baker's Delight, the range has certainly grown. <laughs> we have 93 products that we bake every day with no hidden ingredients, no preservatives. And in my bakery, we have our first bakery in at 3 a.m. We fresh bake all of our breads every day from scratch. It doesn't just happen, there's a lot of work involved in, in mixing the doughs and getting them through the whole process to the end where they come out of the oven and go on the racks nice and fresh for our customers. So some of the breads we've been baking here today, we've got beautiful cape seed, a white loaf and an authentic sourdough. Well my favourite for bread is, is it definitely our authentic sourdough. This is, this is the white, the process involved in this is quite a lengthy one. It takes six hours or so from the minute it comes out of the bowl to when it goes in the oven. And that's really because it is a true sourdough and doesn't have any yeast in it. We dust it with the stencil and then we give it some cuts. And what it does is it enables the product to increase in size, uh, jump in the oven as we call it, without tearing. You know, it's got a, a better flavour, more enhanced taste and it's baked on the stone which we weren't doing ten years ago. Come out quite nicely. A few little tips on, on slicing a sourdough. We know that the sourdough has got a fantastic crust on it and the crust is what keeps it fresh. So slice it yourself at home. Just slice somewhere generally around the middle. This is where all the moisture is going to escape. And then when we're finished, we want to put these two ends back together and that will keep your bread the freshest because there's no gap for the moisture to come out. Okay, the cape seed's a beautiful grainy bread and low GI. The, the seeds and grains in it are, give it a fantastic texture. Our cape seed dough has 11 different grain seeds and beans that go in it. You know, we sell high fibre low GI bread, which is what you could classify as a healthier white bread. We will sell more of that than we will of our traditional white bread. When toasting different types of breads, the different toasting times of these is likely to be somewhere in the vicinity of a minute. The cape seed, because it's got a density and it's got a bit more moisture in it, will take a little bit longer to toast. Okay, our white loaf is a bit more light and fluffy and aerated, so that will tend to toast a bit quicker. And then the sourdough, once again, dense with a good bit of moisture, so it'll take a bit more toasting. Okay, so we've got the three different types of breads in. We'll turn that side on. And this side on, the two sides work independently. And I'll show you what I like to uh, do with it once it's toasted. The unique feature to Breville Toasters is the functionality of this lift and look button. It gives us this opportunity to have a look at how our toast's going. Okay, so we've still got a little bit to go, so it'll automatically just go down on its own. Okay, so our toast just popped up, but in actual fact I'd like it a tad darker than that. So we use the a bit more feature and know that you're not going to end up with burnt toast. My favourite certainly the authentic sourdough. The way I like to eat it is with some good quality extra virgin olive oil drizzled over the top. Beautiful fresh ripe tomato. To get really nice flavoursome tomatoes you either want Roman tomatoes or trust tomatoes and a little bit of basil to finish it off. Fantastic.